Today you are participating in the third of five outreaches that we have planned with as part of the Rescue Alliance. About a year ago, about eight organizations got together to form this group called the Rescue Alliance around the issue of homelessness here in New York. My name is Brian Johansson and I serve as the Vice President of the Bowery Mission. The purpose of the Rescue Alliance is simple, to offer an alternative to homelessness on the street. Not just a, a warm blanket or a meal, but offer an alternative to getting off the street that night into a bed and into a program that can change their life. The Rescue Alliance is a unique partnership of a number of faith-based organizations here in New York, particularly New York City Rescue Mission, Street Light Mission, and New York City Relief, along with the Bowery Mission. My name is Daniel Stelsuis and I'm the Executive Director with New York City Relief. I think the New York City Rescue Alliance is so important because there's so much more we can do when we work together. In these economically difficult times, for us to coordinate services, it not only saves money, but we're able to help people in need much more effectively. My name is Diamond Jones. I am a team leader and we have been doing this Don't Walk By outreach every single weekend in the month of January. This particular population is very important to me, first and foremost, because it is something that God has placed on my heart. We all kind of have gifts, and I think that one of my gifts is compassion. I was walking down that way. My name is Becky, and I'm a resident of the Bowery Mission Women's Center. Before I was introduced to the Bowery Mission, I was homeless for two years. Working with the homeless is my passion. Since I do have the history and had the opportunity for others to help me, I wanted to be able to give some back that the Lord has given me. We have had quite a bit of um, success. People, normally people are pretty receptive to you coming up to them. Um, a lot of times people will just say, yeah, thank you. You know, sometimes even if they say, no, I don't want to tonight, not tonight, they're still extremely receptive. The people who have agreed and said they want to come back, it's so amazing just to see. It's like a wow for them. You answered my prayer. I can feel that you are sincere and that you are authentic, so I am going to come and join you. Teams, that way for the moment. I heard you did a good job tonight, man. I heard your shit's Yay! full. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's oh okay. Nice. You were way down here. Yeah, we were Grand Central. That's why. Outside. Yeah. 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 It's so important for, for the people out there to know that they have a friend and that they're cared for. So many times people walk by as don't walk by. Um, and they don't even want to look at them. They walk on the other side of the street sometimes as if they were contagious. And uh, it's so important that they know that there's people out there that care and that they do belong and that they, they are loved. My name is Alan Moyer. I was homeless for 35 years and now I am working at the mission. If I was like sleeping on the subways, I was sleeping anywhere I could have, even on the street if I didn't, couldn't, didn't I used to sneak on the trains, everything. You know, Alan is really an example of what can happen when someone doesn't walk by. I mean, here's a guy who's been homeless for 35 years, came in, uh, I remember the day he came in. Uh, he had a crew cut, uh, he was missing some teeth, uh, he had been beat up, he was tired. I didn't think my life would turn to anything, really and he slept in our chapel overnight, got warm, and then he actually, after a while, came in the program. And here he is, working for us, and uh, has a role, has a purpose, and more than that, he's an example to all those who come in the mission for help as to what can happen when you truly decide to make a change in your life. It makes me feel that I'm needed, and that, that, I get, that I'm trusted because before I wasn't trusted with anything. We just feel that, that my life is worth something. I think this volunteer work is so incredibly important to the homeless uh, population because it's life changing. And in some cases, like last week when it was bitter cold, it's life saving. It was done for me. Um, someone reached out to me when I was on the streets and 
and put that seed of kindness and love. Um, and I want to be able to do that as well and give it back. I don't think any of us expected the level of success that this Rescue Alliance outreach has produced. We've engaged uh, over a thousand people on the street, on the corner where they live. And I think it illustrates what can happen when volunteers and donors and organizations come together around a common cause. And I think all of us are excited about what can happen with the Rescue Alliance in the future.